The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, 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 everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? If you can hear my voice, uh, I am getting started now. The time is now 9 o'clock on the dot. Um, and if you've been on before, you know I like to give everybody about two or three minutes uh, to get settled in. So we're going to do that tonight. But again, thank you so much for joining our live call tonight. Um, this is AJ, <laughs> um, the webinar man. I'm changing my name to the webinar man. But if you can hear my voice, go ahead and type yes in the chat window. I just want to do a uh, um, real quick sound check. Yes, if you can hear my voice, go ahead and type yes. All right, yes, yes, yes. All right, I see the yes is coming through. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, again, thank you so much. Um, I am going to chill out for a minute because I can ramble. So again, if you're just joining, yep, I see you guys piling in. If you are just joining, uh, then you know I like to give everyone two or three minutes to get settled in and everybody get their kids down. All that good stuff because my daughter is is upstairs with mommy right now so uh she is out of daddy's way and um i'm ready ready to get rocking and rolling and tonight we're going to try to keep this short a good tight 45 minutes hopefully uh if you guys have questions i am always available to answer as many questions as you guys have so again i will not i will not cut you guys short on on q a uh the time is now 901 so First of all, I guess while we wait on everybody else, tell me where you're logging in from or calling in from. And if you're listening via your app on the phone, tell me where you're listening from. Are you in the car? Are you in the living room? You're in your office at home, you're driving. And what city are you in? Okay, we have tex Texas in the house. <laughs> we always have Texas people here. That is interesting. All right. And, oh, and this call is being recorded. It is being recorded. So uh, you guys will get a chance to do a replay. Hey, Jocelyn. Hey, Chantel. Hey, Adrian. Okay. Hi. So wait a minute. Tell me where you got. Well, tell me where you're calling in from and also tell me where you were originally from. That's always interesting. Okay. We have Atlanta. We have, oh, Jocelyn's from New York with a big smiley face. Is it cold in New York yet? Are you in New York now? Are you, uh, you in Atlanta just from New York? Cool. All right. We have uh, Jonathan, Ryan. Hey, guys. What's going on? Camille. What's up, Camille? Hey. All right. Well, the time is 9.03, and I try to give three to five minutes. But I tell you what, just so that I can respect everyone else's time tonight, I am going to start. So we are ready to rock and roll. Tonight, I'm going to talk about five reasons every business owner should be doing webinars. And I do mean every business owner in all different types of businesses. Um, I've seen clients and everything from personal training to cooking to real estate to radio, PR. Uh, who else have I worked with? Radio, TV, public speaking, PR, um, finance. I have tax companies, all types of companies that I've helped uh, get their webinars up. Education companies, absolutely. Um, education companies um, get up and going with webinars. As a matter of fact, uh, my, work, my wife works with Georgia K-12, which is a, a virtual education company. And um, they're using webinars and I actually showed them some tips on the sales process in webinars and they were able to leverage that. So, again, it works in every industry. You just have to be uh, creative and understand um, your market, which I'm sure most people do just to understand what value you can deliver via webinar. All right. So tonight we're going to talk about your vision. And I want you guys to share that stuff with me, because, again, the better I get to know you, uh, the more I can help you and what it is that you want to accomplish. OK. Hey, looks like Kim just logged on. Hey, Kim. Um, so, yeah, share your vision with me. Um, also, again, this is this is all new content tonight, at least for the the teaching portion. Uh, what's up, Jonathan? <laughs> hey, hey, Lee. All right. Um, and as you guys join. Yes. Yeah, cool. Just shout me out um, if you're on. And uh, I just want to make sure again, before I get started, you can hear my voice. So just go ahead and type. Yes, we can hear your baritone. My, hold on. Can you hear my deep voice? <laughs> All right. So. So, yes, you can't hear my voice. All right. I'm going to get started. So uh, we're going to I'm going to share with you other people I've helped um, and how I was able to help them reach success. Uh, five reasons every business owner should do webinars. Um, and I'm going to again, I always share my biggest webinar ever, webinar night ever. And I do that again, not as a bragging point, you know, whatever. We can all do that. But I want to just show the possibility of, of doing a webinar and offering value to your marketplace. Right. Um, also. 
I have testimonials from, from past clients that I want to share with you guys. And also my program that's going to be starting now in two weeks. So two weeks, we're going to kick off my um, first group webinar session while I'll be teaching uh, a group of people all at once how to be um, how to do successful webinars from start to finish. But we'll get into that a little bit more later. All right. So um, first of all, before we get started, I want to talk about, you know, what you guys on the line, what your mission is. I mean, I've shared this with with some of the other calls before, but I always like to understand who I'm working with. All right. So what business are you in? Um, who are your clients? Um, what are you what is it that you want to teach them? What is your expertise? Uh, all those are things that I'm interested in knowing. So right now, um, if you would, even if I already know you, I know I know probably about seven or eight of you guys already know. But still, just type it in just for, you know, so that I can share your stories or your you never know who you may be able to affect by what your expertise is, right? Okay, so we have um, tax company. Okay, we have tax personal training that works. We have um, what is it? Is physical fitness and wellness. Okay, and so with wellness, do you mean eating healthy? Just out of curiosity, is yes. Okay. Um, hey, Alicia looks like Alicia just joined. Yep. So physical fitness, wellness. We have um, entertainment. We have tax. We have. Um, quite a few different with different things, social media, PR, public relations, fitness, sports, lifestyle, fashion. Wow. Digital entrepreneurship. Wow. OK, so again, we have a, a lot of a lot of varying um, purposes and a lot of varying um, uh, careers on tonight. And I think it each one of you can definitely benefit from integrating um, um, webinars into your marketing. Now, I, I'm not saying this to say webinars should be the end all be all. But webinars, there are so many different benefits from doing webinars. And in my business, it has grown my business like crazy, right? So, so much so that I've focused um, a lot over the last year specifically on webinars, not only for myself, but for other clients. I've been hired. I actually have a, a Fortune 100 company that has brought me in to do some webinars for those guys. So, again, it's just a huge opportunity for um, for different businesses. And so if you guys have never been on, I know I did uh, some Facebook marketing. So some of you guys are on from Facebook ads. Some of you guys already know, maybe know me through my email list or some of the other clients that I've worked with. But here's a short list of, of clients. And it's been, it was too many to put on. I would cover about two slides worth of people. Um, but these are some of the people that I've worked with um, in the past doing webinars. And it's it's been really awesome, right? So everything from radio, I have... Um, Rodney Ho is AJC, um, uh, reality TV, Trish Sir, she's an Emmy Award winning actress, uh, Sherry Shepard, she's not on this slide, but I actually had Sherry on a webinar. Um, we have quite a few coming up, um, just closed the deal with with uh, Egypt Sharad. She and I are going to be starting up here pretty soon. Um, so again, just there's just so many opportunities. And one of the benefits that it, it gives you is the ability to reach a lot of people at once. Even tonight, we have people from Texas. We have uh, New York, Atlanta. Uh, looks like we have uh, Pennsylvania. I wonder if, that, if that's Philly. We're coming for you guys this Sunday, right? I'm a Saints fan till I die. Who that? <laughs> anyway, so keep it moving. All right. So today I'm going to show with you the five reasons every business owner should be doing webinars. And this is a quote I always share. Online training known as e-learning webinars is booming. Uh, the research shows it's going to reach 107 billion in 2015, and and I'm proud to announce that it has already surpassed 107 billion dollars in e-education, right? And it's only going to get bigger. More more schools we have online, continuing education. Um, there is no reason that you can't follow the same model um, in teaching whatever your expertise is online that other people's can now. I do understand hotel seminars that gives you the real life in face, you know, face to face time. But what the webinars do is it allows you to reach people all over the country and all over the world, actually, at one time. And it's a lot less expensive. So I'm not saying that this is going to replace seminars and, and in-person events. I'm just saying this is a lot more convenient uh, and it's a good counter you know, kind of a, a sidekick, right? So if, if if seminars are Batman, this is definitely Robin, right? Okay, so let's keep it moving. All right, so, and I'm, again, I'm going to show you um, how I was able to have a highly, highly, highly successful webinar. Um, so what are the five reasons that I think everybody should be doing webinars? And do me a favor, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, if you guys would, my name is AJ Joyner on Instagram. I think I have it on this other slide up here. Let me go back. 
uh, yeah, if you guys will go ahead and follow me on Instagram at AJ Joiner and take pictures of the screen and just do hashtag webinar man, um, then that would be cool. I could um, check you guys out on Instagram and follow along via social media. Cool with me. If it's cool with you, it's cool with me. All right. So step one, um, you can share ideas and awareness. Now, number one, you can put your ideas, ideas and awareness and information in the form of an event. Right. So what we're on right now together, this is actually a live event. So this is, is different when, when you're watching something on YouTube or if you're, you know, if you're listening to a podcast, that's something that you can choose to do at your leisure. Um, but, but webinars, it gives you that live interaction. I've already, you know, we've already interacted with each other. It's been questions only so far. But again, there is that interaction, right? Um, number two, it helps build traffic. So again, there was traffic. I didn't do as many Facebook ads this week as I've been do doing in the past. But just in this webinar series alone, my email list has grown probably about 400 people um, since I started doing this three weeks ago, I think it's been three weeks now. But yeah, so I, you know, I have a my email list has grown like crazy. So another benefit that has is now I have new people that are in my funnel, um, whether or not they join my webinar training. Um, I have more trainings coming up. I'm working with clients that have trainings. So you just never know. I and I do offline events as well or real person events. So again. Um, it just adds people to your to your funnel by doing traffic. Um, it raises awareness about you or your website or whatever it is that you're talking about, right? So again, if if you are, I think someone said they're in digital digital uh, marketing or digital media. Um, if that's what you're doing, then you become that expert, right? So since I've started doing this over a year ago now, I mean, well, doing this with with um, other influencers a year ago. Um, now I'm being associated right alongside some of the experts that I've featured. So people are, you know, they're relying on me for some of their digital training and things like that. But people look at me as the webinar guy, like, oh yeah, AJ, yeah, AJ is great. He's the guy that helped me, you know, create my class and man, yeah, you should definitely work with AJ because he's an expert on this. So think about if you're in fitness, right? So if you're in fitness and you do a webinar and you invite another fitness guru, guru on, even if it's just for a few minutes to, to talk about some of their fitness tricks or some of their, you know, health and wellness tricks or foods or, you know, cooking or whatever, you're affiliated right beside the person that you have, that you have as a guest, right? So again, it also attracts attention among your audience. That goes without saying. Um, it potentially grab people that are attracted to something newsworthy and live. And a lot of times, and you guys know this, people share what they like, Right. And there's, it can very easily become a viral thing. Um, when I did a webinar with, Jesus, who was it? Rashan Ali. So I did a webinar with Rashan Ali and it got retweeted and reposted by people in other markets and other radio stations. And before you know it, you know, we, we have a picture with a couple hundred likes and people are tagging it on Facebook and all types of things just because of her doing a live webinar, right? So people shared it and other people caught on. Um, also, webinars can be used to promote, promote a third party or close affiliate, right? So that is, again, that's very closely aligned with what I did is, is promoting some third parties and um, other people who are in my network. So that's just one um, reason that I think everybody should do webinars is for ideas and awareness. Number two, teaching and selling products. So um, and again, we've already talked about this. A huge benefit is you get to ask real time. Uh, you can clarify and you can also reinforce your understanding on things that pique your interest, right? So if you guys have a question, and I don't know if I've said this already, type that question in the chat window, right? We're live. We're doing this live and in living color. Um, again, hit me up. Any questions along the way, I'll definitely stop. Uh, also, teaching is much like, like a classroom. So this is me virtually standing at a whiteboard and, and teaching you guys everything that I know about webinars. So no matter what um, industry you're in, you can create your own webinar and you can, you know, market your webinar to the people who are interested in what it is that you do. And bam, you have a virtual people, virtual classroom of people who are interested in learning from you. Right. So it's another huge benefit. Um, it also creates a deeper and a faster uh, learning environment um, compared, compared to some of the other online mediums. And what I mean by that is you guys are live and in living color with me right now. Right. So. Um, I know I've taken online courses where um, I've taken online courses where you just log in and you take the course. 
but there's really no teacher there. Like you log in and you take it. And yes, you can leave a question, but the teacher's not there real time. It's a video course. And you're, I mean, it's, you can learn definitely. I'm definitely not trying to down anything, but it, the experience itself is kind of like, meh, you know, whatever. Right. Well, this is in living color. It's live. You guys can virtually reach out and touch me. If you have questions, you can type them in the chat window. I can even unmute your microphone. Let's see. I'm going to unmute someone's microphone. Uh, let's see. Who will I? Janice. I hope I'm saying that right. Janice. Hey, Janice, are you there? Yeah. Hello, Janice. Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I see. I knew I was funny, but uh, anyway. All right. But anyway, so yeah, it gives you a chance to reach out and, and talk to your audience and, and interact with them real time. Right. Um, let's see what else. So you're also creating mediums like videos, podcasts, transcripts, believe it or not, like each one of these webinars, I do have an end game with this. So I'm going to take each one of these webinars that I've done with other clients and I'm going to turn them into, um, well, they already have the courses, but I can turn them into evergreen digital courses. And what I mean by that is I can package all those webinars that I've done with other people and I already have deals worked out with them and we can sell them in the future six months from now for a $50 download or a $100 download, right? And people can always go back and relive that webinar experience, right? So again, that is, that's is—that's definitely another um, another opportunity that you have um, when, you're, when you're doing webinars. Um, let's see, they're also a perfect addition to membership site. And that's something, you know, if you guys are interested in membership site, this is something that I wanted to point out. If you are interested, hit me up offline and I can show you how to create a membership site um, so that your people will, you'll be able to, to facilitate your people in your own environment. All right. So again, that's just another huge benefit. So number two, teaching and products. Number three, building relationships. This cannot be, um, I cannot say this enough because people hear your voice and they interact with you real time. People connect with you a lot easier via webinars than, than when you send out a tweet or a video or a podcast or a blog. Um, and in real person, I mean, in, um, at real conferences, uh, you can interact with people a lot there, but it, it's totally impossible for the speaker to talk to everyone there. Well, and in webinars, it's, it's the same as well. I couldn't, well, tonight you guys, it's not as huge of an audience as I've had before, but I have had upwards of a thousand people on one webinar. There's no way that I can talk to all those people, but I can randomly choose people to talk to. Um, and I can definitely field questions and I have, you know, my assistant and my team can reply to all the questions. Right. So, again, it, it's just a lot easier for you to reach out and touch someone. Also, it builds your credibility. I'm not going to read from the slides bullet by bullet, but it builds your credibility um, versus, you know, again, like I said, blogs or pre-bit um, pre-built videos. Um, again, it's just like meeting you in person, but it's online and some webinar platforms, I tend not to do this a lot just because I can't control everyone's bandwidth, but you can turn on video and you guys can actually see me if if I turn on video, right? But I'm not going to do that because I'm out of here in my garage <laughs> and I'm not through turning into an office yet. But yeah, yeah, you can have that that video interaction if you want it. So that, that's another huge benefit. Um, uh, let's see. Another thing is you can um, stick to your audience's mind. And what I mean by that is, you know, after I get after we have the webinar tonight, I'm going to send a follow up and I'm say, hey, guys, for those of you who logged into the webinar, if you're interested, here's a link to the replay. And for the people who didn't log in tonight, I still have their email information so I can send them an email the, just the same and say, hey, uh, I know you got busy last night and um, I hate you missed it last night. But hey, check it out. Here's the replay link. Um, if you want to go ahead and check it out, go ahead and check it out. Um, so, again, you can kind of linger in people's minds when you have webinars because you have that email address and you can communicate with them that way. All right. Um, also, it creates a fan base. And, and again, people always decide who they want to listen to in the future. But, but webinars can help uh, create your own audience. So here's the next part. Audience creation and list building. Again, I've already told you how many people signed up for the webinars um, since I've done this series. And even the, the last series that I did, I think, was with, with Ebony Steele, and I've done one with uh, Nicole Garner. She's she's a, a PR person here in Atlanta. She's actually in a couple different markets, but um, she's based here in Atlanta. All these people have huge networks, and as a result of me doing a partnership with them, I was able to meet people in their networks 
And also some of you guys actually came across from, from those networks, all right? So it just gives you a huge opportunity to build your list and to, to build your audience. Um, also, it's, it's just natural. And when people want to stay informed about a um, particular subject, webinars are awesome to keep people informed on whatever that subject is, right? So again, you can also partner with people. And that's something I recommend for everyone. Um, it is a good idea to partner with people on webinars that are in the same niche. And I know I've, I've had the question several times. So if you're thinking like, well, AJ, I don't want to I don't want to have my competitors on my webinar because, you know, then they may get my customers. Well, you can be strategic about it. So if think about some of the ancillary things that if you offer, then some people in your in your audience may benefit from. So, for example, if I'm a real estate agent and I'm doing a, a webinar teaching first time home homeowners, all the different ways that they, you know, can can get their house and things they should look for. Well, it would be good if I had a finance person on who said, you know what, I'm a finance person and these are some of the considerations you should have if you're financing your home, right? So you always want to find and you want to partner uh, with someone who is beneficial to your audience that can enhance um, what you're doing. Also, um, there's a way, and, and I haven't done it yet, and this is definitely on my radar, uh, there's a software that you can buy that you can share a link. You give everybody their code. And when other people share the link and someone signs up from their email list or from their following or from, from their audience, um, that will be traced back to the source. So, uh, for example, Kim, if I gave you a link and you posted it on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, I would give you an individual link with a tracking code. And anyone who signed up and purchased something from a webinar, you would automatically receive a percentage of whatever that sale is. Right. So that's another uh, hugely strategic way um, that webinars can help. Income and profit, last but not least, I told you guys I was going to share with you five, and this by far is one of the, the biggest benefits. And um, what better way to, to teach or to make money than to teach your expertise? Um, I have a book called You Too Are an Expert, um, and actually I'm changing the name of it. If you go to youexpertu.com, let me see, I'm going to type it in the chat window. Uh, let's see, let's see, and you guys can get a free expert. I mean, an excerpt. www.uexpertu.com. Yeah, if you guys go um, check out uexpertu.com, this is my book on how I feel like not everyone, everyone, but you know what I mean when I say everyone is an expert in something, right? So if you can package up your expertise, there are people in the world right now that are willing to pay you for you to teach them what you're doing, right? That's just my my posit, I stand by it. Um, again, there are, there. sometimes you have to be creative. If I'm a forklift driver and I've been driving in a warehouse for 10 years, then maybe I can give a course on, you know, hey, if you're a new forklift driver and you're gonna be working in a warehouse, here are some things that you probably wanna um, think about before you before you get this job working. I, I don't know, the, the, to me, the sky is the limit. I have a friend, He's a um, he played college baseball, um, well, he's he's doing a webinar as a way to pre-sell his baseball camp, right? So no, he can't teach baseball on the webinar, but he can talk about the benefits of his baseball camp. He can talk about his former clients. He can talk about the time that he spent playing, you know, college baseball. He can talk about, you know, some of the, the best gloves out there, equipment and things like that. So he's using it to sell his baseball camp. So again, it may not directly relate, but I think there's always an opportunity to generate revenue um, to, when doing webinars. Um, and, and again, when you do webinars, and I've had this experience in the past, like it just it builds your credibility and your expertise. And once people feel like you're credible, you know what the hell you're talking about. Excuse my my English. <laughs> once people feel like they know it, you know what you're talking about, then they will trust you enough to take help take them to that next level if they're interested in what you have to offer, right? So that is that's just my that's been my experience. That's been experience of people that I've worked with, people that I've coached and, you know, corporations that I've worked with. Once you build, you show your credibility on a webinar, it makes people more likely to go ahead and pay you to teach them what they want to know, especially if you're you know, if you're knowledgeable about what, what you're doing. Another thing, one of the things that people feel kind of icky about, and I'm, I, I really, I'm not a salesperson, and I really don't like selling. That's one of my, 
you know, the first time I did this first couple of times, and as a matter of fact, just about every time I get real awkward feeling when it comes time to sell something on a webinar, but there's a way that you you can sell on a webinar that's not necessarily sleazy or kind of salesy, right? So again, because you're establishing yourself as an expert, the next step for you to do as an expert is to offer your expertise for somebody for a, for a price, right? So again, that's just part of it. Um, you can discuss, you can, pr you can promote a product, uh, much like I talked about my friend who has a baseball camp. Um, his baseball camp is actually a product in this right, right? So his product is a baseball camp. I mean, I guess you can look at it as a service, but he's on the webinar. He's not actually teaching any baseball skills or any of that stuff, but he's offering that as his product, right? So again, you can preview, hey, it's going to be a four-week camp. And when you come out, your batting average, your kid's batting average is going to be increased by 15 or 20%. I don't know. It's going to be, it's going to go from 150 to 200 if he attends my baseball camp, because I'm going to have some of the top hitting coaches in the world uh, on at my camp, you know, whatever the case may be. So again, also one thing that I've seen that I haven't done myself is paid webinars. Some people get on and I have a client who's interested in doing a webinar and he wants his to be paid because of the level of expertise he's achieved. Um, and he can do that. I mean, he's he has this little record label going on and he's been successful in the record industry. And he's like, you know what? I will get on and I'll do a paid webinar where people pay, you know, forty dollars. And, you know, I will get on and teach them everything for, you know, a two hour webinar. Hey, it makes sense. If it works for him, it works for me. Right. And it can potentially work for you guys who have, you know, expertise in various things. So I've talked now for 27 minutes nonstop. There has to be at least one question because I know I'm not that great of a teacher to where you don't have questions. So somebody, anybody, everybody, <laughs> go ahead and shoot with a question. And there has to be one. Or if this, if, if you don't have any questions, say, dude, this is pretty cool. Um, also, at the same time, go ahead and take a picture of your screen. Um, tag me on Instagram and, and let's do it. All right. Um, let's see. No. Okay, this has been great. This is awesome. Cool. All right. Well, let's rock with it then. Okay. So, um, well, thank you so much for the for your kind words. That's that's pretty awesome. Let's see. We have. Well, we do have a question. Oh, great info. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's saying the same thing. Great info. Great info. All right. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Um. Now, has this been helpful? Has this training been helpful? Is there something that you guys? Is there a question that you thought you wanted to know, or something you didn't know about webinars, and you're like, Hey, AJ, what about this? Or what about, you know, what if my cousin wants to do a webinar? Is there something that webinars aren't, you know, you can't cover in webinars? If this has been helpful, I appreciate it. I'm going to keep it moving. So, again, I've shared this with, with some of you guys before. Um, and if you've seen it, that's totally fine. Um, oh, here's a question. How do you build buzz for your webinars? All right. So there are several ways to build a buzz. Number one, uh, of course, these are kind of low-hanging fruit. And then I'll get into some more advanced stuff. Um, the low hanging fruit would be, you know, of course, your social media, right? Um, I would do, have you guys heard of Quora, Q-U-O-R-A? Um, I've actually used Quora to, to um, help my webinar attendance. And the way Quora is a Q&A site, Q-U-O-R-A.com. Let me go ahead and type it in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Chat window, www q o r a dot com all right so um when i did a webinar with someone who is in the makeup industry you can go to quora and you can actually do a search for whatever the industry it is that you're in right um and you can go there and have your whoever your expert is or you go and answer a question about whatever people are talking about and believe it or not once you type that in there and you're you don't want to be salesy over there you say hey I'm an expert in, in makeup or I'm an expert in health and fitness. And you ask some question about diet. Here are my top three things, re, top three foods that I think you should stay away from when you're on a diet. And you list all three of those foods and you tell them why. Now, all of a sudden you have expert people are looking at you like, OK, that's what's up. Um, LinkedIn is another good one. Right. So LinkedIn, you can actually submit articles there. You can join the little the LinkedIn groups. Those have been hugely beneficial. When I did my biggest webinar, that was one of the things I marketed to. I, I actually joined a few LinkedIn groups uh, talking about um, what my biggest webinar was actually about. And as a result, I had a lot more people join my webinar because they viewed me as an expert. That is an excellent question. 
Uh, another way, paid Facebook and Twitter ads. That has been my secret bullet, golden bullet, whatever you want to call it, secret weapon, my magic black nunchucks, like whatever, my ninja sword, um, switchblade, all that. Facebook and Twitter ads are huge. People spend so much time on Facebook and Twitter, and I'm also looking at Instagram ads now. They're starting to roll Instagram ads out for small businesses, and yes, it's going to be expensive at first, but imagine targeting people who are interested in a specific hashtag and you being able to advertise to those people. I know you're starting to see Instagram ads more and more. You're being targeted. <laughs> and in a minute, I'm going to be targeting y'all too. <laughs> but yeah, so that's another way. Um, meetup. I, I don't know if I said meetup.com. Meetup.com. There's another one you can find um, niche meetups about everything. 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 You can find meetups about everything. So that's another way uh, to build buzz for webinars. Um, are there any more guys that you think I'm missing? If, can anybody think of other ways to spread the word about webinars? Think about, you know, again, if you're in, someone said that they were into PR. Um, so if you're in, in PR, I'm sure you can, you know, write uh, guest blogs. I'm sure you can have bloggers. You know, I don't know all the publicity ways to do it, but you can have, you can do a press release about whatever your webinar is going to be about. You can reach out to other influencers who are in your marketplace and ask them to share. Um, I mentioned earlier the affiliate link, the affiliate link. So that's another way. So um, tons and tons and tons and tons of ways to build buzz for webinars. All right. Very, very good question. All right. So, yeah. So my biggest webinar, I did a variation of a lot of the things that I just told you about when I, I had this webinar. And again, I this was, again, definitely my best webinar ever. So and I always share this again, not for bragging purposes, but this is what I did over a two or three day span um, on my webinar, like literally sells through the roof. This was on my Kindle product that I did, um, how to write how to write and publish a book uh, in 30 days or less, right? Um, and had a, a huge turnout. I did one of the, oh, another thing, if you have an email list, that is huge if you have an email list that you can automatically email out to. I made um, almost 30, well, at least over three grand. Again, I, the exact number still, um, I think I had like one one return or two returns. Um, some of the ladies are saying, oh, it's, you know, I got too busy and I couldn't do it. And I gave them their money back. I didn't have a problem with it. But this was a great, great um, webinar that I had. All right. So and I've also worked with people who didn't have any experience doing webinars. And some of them now are doing their own webinars. Right. And that's just from us working together. Um, but again, not, and they're making money doing it. So it's not like, oh, well, you know, whatever. But I would recommend you, all, you always want to establish yourself as an expert in your market before you start trying to tell charge people for stuff. Right. Because number one, people have to know you who you are and what your expertise are and they have to feel like you can help them honestly um before they'll actually get their credit card out and spend money with you all right so um so who are some of the people that i've helped some of you may know some of these people some of you may not nicole garner um she's again she can vouch for my webinar method she was able to connect to over 550 women um, she started 100 female entrepreneurs she kicked it off with her webinar training right so in a matter of three weeks we grew her email list by 500 new women uh, that weren't on her email list before. And we did a variety of things. We did Facebook ads. We did Twitter ads. We did email blasts. We did a lot of different things to help get people on her webinar. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, Christy Childs. Christy Childs is um, a buddy of mine. She's a life coach. Um, life coach. She already has an email list. Um, she, again, um, she's, if you're looking for a system, you're going to learn how to market, reach your audience, make good money while doing it. Can't go wrong. Webinars are replacing seminars more and more. Again, I think that there's there's room at the table for webinars and seminars. I just know it's a lot easier to do a webinar. Um, I'm like I said, right now I'm sitting in my garage um, chatting with you guys doing this webinar. All right. So, again, webinars, I won't say they're the wave of the future. I'm saying that more and more people are doing them right now. So, again, and who cares about saturation and all that kind of stuff like if you have a, a, a product or a service um, that you can actually teach people something, then you should be doing webinars. Who cares if it's saturated? I've heard that. I heard that word so many times. And what I always say to saturation is there's a McDonald's on every corner, uh, not every corner, literally. But you guys understand what I'm saying. All right. 
Well, shout out Lee, a really good friend of mine. Um, she's with CNN Headline News. She does NFL reporting now. She's a former radio personality. Um, and when I first worked with Rashawn, it was for something totally different, had absolutely nothing to do with webinars. Uh, and, you know, we were talking and I was actually consulting with her for some stuff. Right. So and I said, Rashawn, well, why don't you do a webinar? Why don't you do a webinar? And she was like, well, I do a web of woo, a web of what? <laughs> so, yeah. So, again, but she did it. Right. She did it. She had huge success with it. And again, now she's like, hey, I can't wait to do it again. All right. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Jay Carter. All right. So Jay and I did one uh, a couple weeks right before the One Music Fest. And we're actually about to kick his back off in a couple weeks. Right. So, again, one quick webinar, one hour we made, made, you know, he was able to teach a lot. He was very wide open to teach everything that he learned that he's learned through, you know, building the One Music Festival and when he opened his club and when he used to do nightclub events, uh, he shared a lot and he made a lot of money doing it. Joy Mevin, she's a makeup artist. Um, in our three week um, marketing period, we had over 700 people sign up for her email list in a three week period. We did Facebook ads. We did uh, we didn't do Twitter ads. We did Facebook. We did our email. She marketed to her following. Uh, and now she actually uses the webinar that we created as her blueprint because now she's traveling around the country teaching live courses and she also speaks a lot, right? So whenever she does a speech, um, she she opens up with the same webinar presentation that we created together uh, when she did her webinar. So again, you can always repurpose, you know, some of the stuff that you learn doing your webinars to do in real person. So. Um, imagine how it would feel like, honestly, if you could make a thousand dollars literally sitting right there where you are right now, but you were talking to people in your target audience. And again, um, like I said, I'm sitting at home. I'm chilling. You know, I'm enjoying this. I, I absolutely love this. I get nervous still. Um, I was talking to uh, Nicole. Actually, she's I was talking to Nicole a little while before we started this webinar. I'm like, dude, like I'm still getting nervous about this stuff. But it's it's not necessarily nervous as in scared. It's just nervous energy. I, I want to deliver. Right. So I want to teach you guys as much as I can. And I also want you guys to, to, you know, to take the next step and take the webinar training that I've created. So um, anyway. So, yeah, imagine if you can make a grand um, sitting right there in your living room. So just type this for me. If you if you think you can use your webinars, if you think you can learn the webinar system and use webinars in your business, just type yes in the chat window. If you think that using webinars would benefit your business, just type yes in the chat window. I just want to see. And if you don't tell me if you don't say no and, and tell me why not. Like, I'm interested to know if you don't think webinars would work. Just say, hey, AJ, I don't I don't know if it'll work and tell me why not. Maybe we can talk through it. But if you do, just go ahead and type yes. OK, yes, yes, yes. Chantel, Jocelyn, uh, Takesha, Nikki, Alicia, Candice, um, Naja, April. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, if there's a, an industry um, that you're aware of that you don't think webinars can work in, just let me tell me what that is because I'm trying to find one that I can't figure out a way to that they can use webinars, even for internal training at the company, right? Or even, you know, if you're having a hiring seminar for your company and you're at um, the National Black MBA Association and, you know, you had a you were doing a presentation at your at your um, at your booth, um, you know, you could have people at your, your booth and you can have your CEO who couldn't make it out um, do a live webinar for, you know, one hour. Maybe you, you tie video into it. Right. You have you set it up. You have your slides, you have the video going and your CEO is now doing a he's in New York doing a live webinar for people who at the National Black MBA Association in Atlanta. Just so many use cases that that you can use webinars for. I just haven't seen a place where it doesn't work. Uh, all right. So uh, any other questions? Fire away right now. You have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five. Oh, and you know what? I have this cool little uh, video. I'm going to share this with you guys. Let's see. Um, this is something that I have. Uh, let's see here. I want to share this with you guys. Uh, here it is. Uh, open this. Give me just a second here, guys. Let's see if I can share this with you. Uh, 
uh, let's, oh, we have some questions. Um, how do you prepare for your first webinar? Oh man, uh, <laughs> just get real nervous. Uh, who's the Chantel? Um, so your first, let's see, recommended settings, finish. All right, hold on. All right, so I want to share this with you guys. This is my, um, I'm actually rebranding myself as a webinar man. And I'll get to your second, I'll get to your question, uh, Chantel, in five seconds. I just want to share it because I think this is kind of cool. Um, this is going to be, um, what you guys are looking at now, is my intro for and my outro for my webinars that are going to be coming up. And you guys are the first people to see this. Before it goes live, I'm having my site redone now uh, to become the webinar man. So I am rebranding myself as the webinar man. So check it out. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that's my little my little logo bumper um, that I'm going to be um, using as I rebrand myself. You saw it here live first, live and in living color. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, so the question was, how do we prepare for our first webinar? Well, so pre preparation, do you mean prepare in the sense of your slides and your, you know, practicing or um a couple of different things you can do. Number one, you always want to practice. You always want to do a trial run. Um, you want to try to get on and test your sound. Um, and Chantel, um, if I'm not being clear, because I'm thinking like right before the webinar is getting ready to go live, but what do you mean by prepare? Is it prepare the, the night, the couple hours before or to, oh, to reach out for me to create a webinar? Oh, okay. Um, well, so it, it depends, right? So if you if you need me to create a webinar for you, my time is becoming more and more limited. And I actually am, um, I have talked to now three people um, and one person is actually on the call who's gonna be helping me um, facilitate webinars. Now the actual creation, I'm teaching more and more people this process because it, it the, this process is a little bit different than just putting together a presentation, right? So yeah, you can put together a presentation, but there's a certain flow that you wanna have and that flow has been proven to be, you know, successful. But if you want to reach out to me and you want me to work with you or a client to create a webinar, just send an email to my assistant. It's Kim. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I'm going to type it in the chat window. Kim at AnthonyJoiner.com. Kim at AnthonyJoiner.com. Send her an email if you're interested. Um, and, and we can talk about it. Um, Let's see now. OK, so back to preparation. Of course, you want to prepare. You want to send out a few emails, letting people know what your what your webinar is going to be about. Um, you want to, um, you know, of course, you want to post on social media and let them know um, you want to. Let's think preparation, preparation, preparation. Um, you want to make sure your slides are um, succinct. Now, tonight I got away from my rule of thumb, um, but I had so much information I want to teach you guys that I didn't follow my own rule. Um, but if you look at some of my slides tonight, um, they were a little more wordy than I typically make my slides, right? I try not to put as many words on it, um, but tonight I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything and there are ways to do it the different way, but I try to keep, you know, one to two sentences or one to two bullet points per slide and maybe a paragraph. But for the most part, you try to keep your slides simple. Um, you want to be sure and engage the people that you're, that you're working with, right? So, you know, engage them by asking questions, engage them by answering questions, engage them by giving them an opportunity to talk. And you know what? Let's see. Uh, I haven't heard anybody voice, anybody's voice tonight. So I want to hear someone's voice. If you if if you want to just say hey and, and tell about your business, um, just go ahead. You can hit the button that says raise your hand or ask a question. If you hit that button, I'm going to unmute your microphone. And I'm going to allow you to talk about your business and your website and just share with everybody on here. We want everybody to win. Like ultimately, that's what I want. I want everybody to win. All right. So uh, let's see. We got a hand up and it is Kim Ford. Now make sure that your microphone is not muted on your side, Kim. It uh, looks like you're muted. So if you would hit the unmute button on your end, then you should be good to go. Hey, Kim, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Hi. Good. Hi, everyone. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, I know they can't hear me. <laughs> no, no, they can't. I can't hear everyone. They can hear you, but you can't hear them, right? So, well, first okay. of all, I just wanted to let you know that Southern University is the best college in the land. And we. Oh, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> we have the best band in the Grandma State University is. Thank you. 
<laughs> um, anyway, so so first of all, tell everybody where you're from. Tell them your business uh, uh, and whatever you want to talk about. It, the floor is yours right now for about one minute. Go. Okay. My name is uh, Kim Kim Ford. I publish JubileeMag.com. It's an online magazine. I'm originally from Grambling, Louisiana. The best has the best university, better than Southern, Ooh. where AJ went. Ooh. And but I've been in Atlanta for about 18 years, and I love it here. And I'm building my business, um, which is an online magazine. I do a lot of celebrity interviews from everybody, like Tyler Perry, Kevin Hart. Um, a lot of faith things, and on the digital entrepreneurship side, I show people how to start blogs and help them start it and nice. let them know why they need it and show them how to pitch themselves to the media if they want to get in magazines and blogs and things. So, And I'm excited about learning about webinars from the fabulous Mr. Webinar Man, Mr. AJ. <laughs> the webinar man <laughs> in the building. Thank you so much, Kim. You're so gracious and so kind. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. All right. Okay. Um, now that she's muted, I just want to reiterate the fact that Southern University is the best um, HBCU in the country, and we do have the best band in the land. All right. So I'll keep it moving. All right. So what I want to do now, guys, is I want to introduce you to my webinar platform uh, that I'm so stoked about. I'm about two weeks away from launching it. Uh, it's called Webinar Vana, and this is literally going to be your one-stop shop for everything webinar. I <laughs> know fair Kim. It's it's so empowering to have the microphone. Wow, I tell you, it's power power in the mic. Uh anyway, so yeah, back webinar Vana. Um, this is my webinar platform that I have been working on now. Um, and I pulled out all the stops to try to teach everything I know. And hopefully, once I do this, then I can actually have people that come go to the course actually become part of my team because I have more clients than I can actually help right now um in a one-on-one -on -one capacity, right? Um, I do have some corporate clients that just want to do, you know, they want me to do their webinars for them or train some of their people. I can do that. And I am also taking on clients who have a budget to pay for me to facilitate, you know, big webinars um, for their companies. Um, but I'm actually looking for people to become part of my team. So what is Webinar Vana? All right. So it's a six week training course and it starts October 20th. That's two weeks from tonight. Um, I'm going to teach you every thing I know about webinars start to finish so at a minimum you should be able to make a thousand dollars with a webinar you should hands down um, if done correctly I can't guarantee it because I don't know you know what your business is and I don't know your work ethic so I can't say oh if you buy this you're gonna make a thousand dollars no I can't do that uh, but what I can do is say I've been able to make multiple tens of thousands of dollars doing webinars um, and and it's I've gotten it down to where it's not hard at all right um, so you can also establish yourself as an industry expert, increase your customer base, host regular online workshops and webinars, just like the one you're on, ladies and gentlemen, um, to, to, you know, generate expertise or to become the expert in your market. Um, and also you can release a new webinar training. I put program here, but you can re release a webinar like literally in a matter of days. Right. So you probably want to take a little bit longer than that because you want to market it. But if you have a marketplace and people that already respond to you in your marketplace, it shouldn't take you no more than two weeks tops to get a webinar. So what are you going to talk about? Week one, you're starring webinar, webinar. I mean, you're starring role in your webinar. So planning your vision, vision um, and the value so that you can have a rave worthy performance. So what does that mean? Um, three things that you have to determine in any marketplace before you get started um, in uh, determining the true purpose of your webinars and how to knock it out of the park and four ways to quickly reveal your perfect topic. Now, I've had people that I've worked with, and when we started, they had no idea what their webinar is going to be about. So I've helped them zero in on what it is that they could, that they were an expert in and package that into a course. So week two, reviewing your profits. So creating buzz and much for your much anticipated event. This goes to the question that was asked a little bit earlier uh, by Chantel, I believe. I think it was Chantel had a question about creating buzz. So promotional calendar, a promotional calendar is very important. And I actually, so I can't reiterate this enough. I have templates like fill in the blank templates, like promotional calendars that you can say, okay, my webinar starts November 1st. Well, this promotional cal promotional calendar, say that five times real quick. We'll say, okay, if you're starting this date, then you back up the, you know, four weeks before that and hear all the things that you should do every week leading up to the webinar the eight emails that you must 
have. And again, you can get away honestly with three emails, but you want to send, of course, you want to send a welcome. You want to send a, you know, tell people why you're interested in doing webinars. You want to show them the benefits of them joining your webinars. Um, those are, you know, all those emails. And those are, again, templates, right? So you can literally copy paste what I have, change it out to fit whatever your market is. Bam, you're in the game. All right. Um, and how to manage all the moving pieces and parts without pulling out your hair. Um, it can be nerve wracking in the beginning, but it's not it's not hard. It's just different. It's almost like managing an, an event. If you guys have ever planned a birthday party, like a big birthday party where you had to plan your venue and you had to talk to your your vendors and you had to talk to your DJ and you had to get your party. What do you call it? What do you call those things? Um, the little party party poppers. Um, party favors, party favors. If you had to get party favors, it's literally like hosting an event. Thank you, Chantel. <laughs> Thank you, Chantel. I'm a dude, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't really do favors like that, but I know, you know, um, a lot of ladies like ladies like favors. I don't know why, but you know, it's the uh, event planner. Okay. I know that life. Right. So this a webinar is nothing more than a big event that you're planning. Right. Um, so, but there are a lot of different moving pieces and parts. And if you can, if you've ever planned a big birthday party or even like my, my daughter, she's turning four, uh, at October 30th. And my wife has this big princess theme planned out. And she's like, Oh, I've got to buy princess dresses and I got to get a princess cake and I got to get, you know, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, the princess Bianca, not Bianca, uh, Tiana, Tiana princess. She has to get Tiana. So basically if you've ever done a big event, then this, that's exactly what it's like. So let's get back to webinars. I'm sorry, I, my ADD. If any of you who don't know me, my ADD kicks in and I can go down a path. Anyway, so presenting and designing your webinars, cue cards that you can have. I've gotten pretty good at it, so I don't use cue cards anymore. But if I'm ever working with a client, I make sure that they understand their cues and they understand their talking points. All right. So the best way to warm up your audience, and we did this earlier tonight for those of you who were on earlier. Um, you warm up your audience, you talk to them like, hey, guys, where are you from? What are you doing? Uh, where are you calling in from? Th those are some of the things that I did earlier tonight. So if you paid attention, I did basically everything tonight that that I'm telling you about right now. Uh, dealing with issues on the fly. I haven't had an issue on the fly except for uh, when I tried to play my little video. And I'm going to play that again while y'all listen to me talk. Um, but yeah, so when I tried to play my little video, I don't know if it was playing at first. So I was like, OK, well, uh, let me, you know, let me make sure that uh, play it again. Let me make sure that, that everybody can understand what's going on. But, you know, sometimes you do have issues on the fly and you have to learn how to deal with those issues. So, again, there are only so many issues that you're going to deal with. But again, in this training, I'm going to teach you how to deal with these issues on the fly. All right. So let's go to the next. What else is webinars all about? Uh -uh. OK, so there, this thing's getting carried away now. Uh, anyway, all right. So can you guys see my screen again? Let me make sure what, what is the audience seeing? I can actually see what you guys see. All right. Yep. So you can see my screen again. Anyway, so so yeah, um, dealing with issues on the fly. Uh, presentation, presentation design. I'm going to literally, um, I have several designs that, that you probably could pay, you know, and these aren't just like, oh, PowerPoint templates. Now, these are some that I really put my foot into the design. Uh, my, my, <laughs> Not my real foot, but if y'all from the South, y'all know what that means. I'm sorry. When you put your foot in something, that means you did it. You did that or <laughs> you did a good job or you tried your best. OK, moving right along because I'm embarrassing myself. All right. Showtime, showtime. So 11 step program for the day before and the day of. Right. Um, oh, this, I've duplicated this. How to how to warm up your audience. Sorry about that. And how to create so much value that your audience can't wait to learn from you. Right. So not only do you want to teach what people want to learn, you want to go above and beyond and think about things that can help them that they don't even know about. And that's that's what I'm talking about for this training. I want to when you guys or whoever I already have people have already signed up. God bless your hearts because we about to do it. But um, I want to I want you to learn so much that by the time you get off, you're like, dude, I would have paid four times as much for that class. Right. And, and it's, it's not very expensive. So don't even think about it because I wouldn't do that. Um, the after party. So um, after it's over with, how to keep how to keep it moving, how to create more, you know, your video replays, email follow ups, um, surveys, get more eyes on your replay. There are several different methods. One of them I talked about um, earlier is, you know, you can have your automatic email go out and say, hey, guys, if you missed it, 
here it is. And if you didn't miss it, here it is. And then you can also create a, a totally new campaign for people to watch a replay. Um, you can make it into its own little product. Hey, hey guys, I have a training on you know how to do webinars. And if you've never heard of a webinar, you definitely need to be on this training. Then you can get on live and introduce your replay. Hey guys, listen, here's my replay. Uh, it's going to be starting here in five minutes. But before we start, I just want to make sure that you know you guys can hear everything. Is everything fine? You do the same thing, but then you just press play and you let your webinar do its thing. All right. Week six. Um, Technology. I'll just sum this up and I'll say technology. Um, I'm going to teach you the best platforms, the ones that I use. I'm going to teach you how to create a, a website um, landing page in a matter of minutes. Uh, let's see. Asianwebinars.com. I'm going to share this with you guys. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, again, I'm going to show you how you can create a page similar to this one in a matter of minutes, like literally in a matter of minutes. So um, I will like step by step, hand in hand, I'm gonna take you through everything, all right? Uh, let's see what else. Let me go back to my presentation. Okay, so let's get into the bonuses. Now this is above and beyond. So of course with the training, you're gonna get everything you need, um, but I have a bonus on, I have a particular way that I go about getting experts. And it has worked 100% of the time. Well, except for one, um, and that guy is definitely interested, but he's on a world tour. His name is um, E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher, um, Eric Thomas. Uh, he's a public speaker, a motivational speaker. Uh, dude is doing a lot of big things. And, you know, he was the only person that I reached out to that we weren't able to strike a deal. And it wasn't because he didn't want to. It was because he was too busy. But he was like, bro, I see what you're doing. He was like, man, you know, we need to get our heads together and figure out how we can do this when my schedule clears up and blah, blah, blah. Right. So, again, everybody understands the power of teaching your expertise to a nationwide audience. I'm going to give you um, email templates that you can use to contact. To, it's like cold emails. Um, I'm going to teach you a strategy that I've shown before on how to find experts for your market um, who will be willing to help you out um, because you're going to be exposing their brand as well. All right. And I'm going to show you how to position yourself so it's not cheesy, right? So if you've never done it before, then you can, after you take the course or if you're a part of the course, you can say, look, me and my partner are going to do this. So I will get on and I will help you get everything together. And I will actually, depending on the night of the week it is, I can jump on and do the introduction and introduce maybe you and your guests and then let you, you know, get comfortable with it. Or we can do a few practice runs together or with the group, all right? So again, that's just one bonus finding your finding your expert. Um, and again, I put the four ninety seven dollar four hundred ninety seven dollar price tag on that because I know how much money I made, and it was a lot more than four hundred ninety seven dollars um, using experts and and for webinars. Now here's something that I paid my, out of my own pocket for Twitter advertising. I paid out of my pocket three hundred ninety seven dollars for advanced Twitter marketers. So Twitter will allow you to target someone someone else's Twitter followers, right? So for example, there's another gentleman who teaches webinars. Um, I was able to target all the, Af and this guy is, is not an African-American male. I was able to target all the African-Americans that followed this person um, because he's a webinar expert. And I was able to advertise directly through them, to them through Twitter, right? So in other words, when they log in on Twitter, They'll see that sponsored ad at the top and that sponsored ad is AJ saying, hey, guys, here's this cool free webinar training coming on tonight. Click here to join. It's absolutely free. Right. So I will teach you guys literally the training that I had. I'm going to go through that training. I'm going to pull out all the stuff, not none of the fluff. I'm going to pull out exactly what you need to know to be able to run a Twitter ad successfully. Now, another benefit to the Twitter ad thing is. I don't care what business you're in. Advertising should be a part of it if you're about reaching more people. So you can take this and you can use this to advertise your New Year's parties or whatever. You know, like your um, Kim, I know you were talking about Jubilee Mag a little bit earlier. Um, you can use this to advertise Jubilee Mag. I don't know what your what your advertising model is or how you get to work the word out about it. But this is something that you guys can use in other facets of business. All right. Fill in the blank webinar templates. So I'm going to give you literally like everything that you saw tonight on the screen was there for a reason. Um, I'm going to give you the template, not only that one, but I'm going to give you 
Jesus, I'm probably going to give you, let me see. I'm going to pull up some of the ones that I've done. I, I did this before, but I just want you guys to see it too. All right. So let me know when you can see my slide share. Um, let's see, switch to. All right. So these, this is the one. This is one of the webinars I did that was um, back in November. I had a huge response for that. But let's see. This one is on unboring proposals. So how to create proposals that are not boring, right? So all these templates that I have, and if you walk through, like these are not just regular run-of-the-mill PowerPoint templates. I'm gonna give you the actual templates so you can go in and you can change out what these things say and change out some of the pictures. And you can fill it in with your own verbiage um, to talk about, you know, whatever it is that you want to talk about. Um, that way, you know, you're not starting from scratch. Right. Um, let's see. Here's one I did on cold emails. And this is something I'm going to teach you guys. Um, again, this is just another template that I created. But you guys, this is 41 slides. So you guys are going to get. Um, oh, geez, that's that old picture. But you guys are going to get um, all these templates that I've created. Um, and you're going to be able to modify those templates for your own benefit, right? So these are templates that are already done and they're already in the bag that I have built and I've customized. Um, and again, you can get them um, and it's going to be part of, you know, what you guys, what you guys are doing. So anyway, um, let me go back to my, do, 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 do. let's see here. So again, all those, I'm probably give you at least, five or six fill in the blank templates and they will be different colors. So you can choose the one that best fits the, the look. And I can show you how to change the primary colors in the presentations uh, in literally 30 seconds. How you can. So, for example, if you're looking at the webinar that I'm doing tonight, um, this isn't a color driven webinar that I'm working on tonight. Um, but I do have in the some of the templates that you just saw, they were um driven by specific colors. So again, how much does it all cost? Again, yes, if you add all this stuff up, it come out, easily come out to $2,000. Easily, easily, easily. Um, it could be a $2,000 training that could happen over this time because I know the value that this has. Um, did I just skip over Facebook advertising? So I'm, I've talked about this before. I'm considering, and I probably will, add Facebook advertising in here as well. So I've taken advanced Facebook. I've taken several courses on Facebook advertising. So um, for those of you who are interested in learning on face about Facebook advertising, if you take this course, I will definitely throw in the Facebook advertising, even if I have to do it as a one off training just for you. I'll do that. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Every time I do this, we're going to give it, give you guys this easy, easy way to do it. So look, two payments of ninety nine bucks or one payment of one ninety seven. That's it. It's plain and simple. If you go to buy dot webinarvana which is the name of my platform dot com you can sign up tonight the course starts in two weeks um two payments of 99 bucks will be rocking and rolling or one payment of 197 um as a matter of fact i probably should well no never mind so i can't do that but yeah so two payments of, of 197 i'm sorry two payments of 99 one payment of, of 197 uh and and think about this if if there are other and i've had several people say hey aj you know i just don't have the money right now inbox me offline and let me know and we can figure out something because to me it's more about teaching more people how to do this than it is about I'm not trying to become a millionaire off doing this like I'm making I'm doing pretty I'm doing pretty okay right so again I'm I'm over giving away stuff for free just because I've done it for so long and I understand that people do not value free anything that you get I've got I have so many free trainings on my on my hard drive that I've never taken just because it was free but you better believe that training that I paid for Twitter at 397, I, every single module, I, I probably don't wore them, wore them 10 modules out because I paid my money, right? So I understand the value that I'm providing. And I understand that if you take this course, the value that it can help offer you and potentially people that you partner with and your customers. So again, the course is two payments of $99. You can't beat this with a bat, with nobody's bat. <laughs> <laughs> two payments or one payment of 197 is just a couple dollars cheaper i guess if you do it actually one dollar one dollar cheaper if you do it the full way which is kind of dumb i don't know why i did it like that um so are there any questions are there any questions questions let me go back to the question slide any questions about what you're gonna get tonight or what you're gonna i mean i'm sorry what you're gonna get in the training 
Um, and again, I want to I want your feedback about how you felt about tonight's training. Just tell me what you thought about it. Time is 10.05. I'm a little bit longer than I thought I would be, but that is OK with me. So tell me um, if you learned something, just tell me one thing that you've learned tonight. Tell me one thing that you've learned tonight on tonight's webinar. And again, let me put the, the slide back up so you can go to um, buy.webinarvana.com um, and you can get the course. But type in the chat window one thing that you guys have learned tonight. Just one thing that you can learn. One thing that you can apply in your business. I think that's that's something that. Um, OK, yep, that you can use webinars to grow yourself as an expert. Um, you learn how to create a buzz. Um, yep, yep. So again, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. I don't want to ramble. If there are, are any questions, again, I want you guys to go to buy.webinarvana.com. Go ahead and buy it. I'm really excited about this training. I have so much that I'm going to teach you guys. And I know, you know, I know you guys are ready to take your business to the next level. One of the things that I know about trainings is that there are tons of other things that you could be doing with your hour tonight. But you chose to sign up for this webinar and, and join me. So I... I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. I can't wait to get started and over deliver because that's really what I'm trying to what I'm trying to do with this. I'm trying to kill the game. I'm trying to kill the game, son. <laughs> but um, but yeah, guys, so thank you so much um, again. If you are interested and I know you're interested, you if you weren't interested, you wouldn't be on this call, first of all. So I know there's an interest there. Um, go to buy that webinar and and, you know, let me know. Let me know um, when you join. I'll be standing there with my arms open wide. <laughs> my arms will be open wide. His eyes are watching God. But um, yeah, so I'll be, you know, I'll be there. I'll be ready to rock and roll. And uh, and that's all I have for you guys tonight. So uh, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me. Uh, I can't wait to get started with this training. I'm super excited. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on there. All right. Um, if nothing else, if you guys have a question, here's the last time. Uh, but if nothing else, I want you guys to have a fantastic night. All right. Bye-bye.